Mr. Kazuski, you wish to speak on items 30, 31, and 32. You could have nine minutes. How much time do you need? Um, you can put nine on the clock, but I doubt I'll use it. This city just wasted six minutes of time for Mr. Collins and Mr. Rim because this award's already been given out. If they came to this microphone, to this public microphone that belongs to the people of San Diego, if they came to this microphone with good, solid reasons why these proclamations should not have been given, it would not have mattered. Where is the public's role, the public's place, in what you do in the name of the public with these proclamations and ceremonial items? The Brown Act was created, and it was created and designed to give the public these two, three, whatever minutes, so that we might have a chance to influence what our elected representatives do. That's a fundamental aspect of democracy. It's as fundamental as it can be. Not eye contact from one of you because you're shameful and you know that this is wrong. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid somebody's gonna come up here and say, no, we shouldn't have uh, telecommunications week in San Diego? Big deal. You're willing to sacrifice the public's right to influence their elected representatives just so that you might save some embarrassment if someone would come up here and say, no, I don't think it should be Joe Schmo Day in San Diego? What's the trade-off there, city attorney? I request that these proclamations and ceremonial items that are done on the people's time after this meeting has been opened, after we've said the Pledge of Allegiance, I ask that these proclamations and ceremonial items follow the law of California and allow the public to speak before they are decided. Thank you. I yield back six minutes and 48 seconds. Thank you. That concludes the public